In this video series, we're going to make a Silverlight application using Visual Basic. And we'll be writing this for Windows Phone. We'll be taking pictures, we'll be using a database, we'll be updating live tiles, and we'll be recording audio. The main page of this application will be where we put our main menu. It's based on items, which will be photo memos. So in order to create photo memos, we create a model. This is just a plain CLR object, also referred to as a POCO object. This has properties for ID and name, file name, thumbnail, everything that's related to taking a picture and storing location. Then we have a history page. We will present a list of the items, a list of those photo memos. And we use data binding in order to display those items. We also use a context menu from the Silverlight Toolkit. And we bind everything to a view model. And the view model maintains any state required for the application, and in some cases, methods for working with that state. So we keep the collection of photo memos here, and we have a method to add and remove the memos from the collection. We're using the dispatcher.begin invoke for thread safety. If your application has background processing, if there's any chance that there's any work being done off of the UI thread, which in a well-done application there should be, then if you call add or remove on an observable collection, you will get an exception. That's because the observable collection is bound to the thread that it was originally created on, similar to UI controls. So by using the dispatcher, we can make sure that no problems occur when raising the event. So let's start the application and take a look. So I have a very basic display here to add and remove items. And then history is where we'll view the items. So we'll just click add item a few times. Then when we click history, we can see a list of them. If you notice, we're at the bottom of the page right now using the scroll bar. And we want to make sure that if we navigate away to the application and come back, that it stays there. And it does in this case. However, we are cheating. If the application is tombstoned, then we'll have an issue, because when it restores the application, it will not also restore the place in the scroll list. So we're going to test this by using the tombstone upon deactivation while debugging. This is only available with a 7.1 SDK. This is what enables the fast resume. And we have some code in here already to manage this. So when the page is loaded, we look for that list of memos. And unfortunately, we have to do a little bit of digging into it, but we're actually looking for the scroller, the scroll viewer that's part of the control, and we're finding its vertical offset. When the page is navigated to, we check in the state to see if we've maintained this, this item before. If we've already taken a look at the top index, we can set it again. And once again, when we navigate away from the page, we can look at the scroll viewer to get its top index. And notice we're using the state object. We can store anything we want to in the state object. And if we get tombstoned and then brought back, when we come back, we can look at this and we can find out whatever was going on with the application. This is the type of information that you wouldn't actually probably want to commit to the isolated storage. You wouldn't want to save it in settings. It's very short-lived information, only from the time you're tombstoned and then brought back. And with Mango, with Fast App Resume, a lot of times you won't actually be tombstoned. But for the times where you are, this is a very good strategy to use. We do implement from the toolkit the context menu. And when an item is clicked from that menu, this is where we actually pull out the information to see what item they clicked. And then to, in this case, we only have one command to actually call the delete. In the next video, we'll talk about using the camera now so that we can take photos instead of just using the dummy methods to add and remove pictures. And then we'll add the database, the live tile, and finish it up.